There are many aspects of money that we unfortunately don't know about until we get much older or until we learn the hard way. We go off the assumptions of our friends and family, and sometimes this can cost us. So like it or not, money is a large part of our life, so learning how to better handle it can be to your benefit. Let's go. A phrase that I think many of you heard is that money can't buy happiness. And yes, in some regards this is true. You can be rather wealthy and still be sad or depressed. But I think we're taking the phrase too literal. because. Happiness could be a warm meal. It could be a place to stay. It could be hanging out with your friends you haven't seen in over a decade. Money is a very powerful tool that can make our lives a lot easier, sometimes almost instantly. In the United States, it's pretty common for people to say, follow your dreams. And that's a topic for another day. But how can you possibly follow your dreams if you're not somewhat financially stable? How can you spend time daydreaming and thinking of the future when you don't know where you're going to be sleeping tonight, or you don't know when your next meal is coming. With financial stability, you can afford things like food, shelter, medicine, and an education. It allows you not to be stressed. It allows you to take a step back and spend money on things that aren't a necessity. A perfect example, a friend of mine at work, his daughter wears a princess dress all the time, 24 seven. He has three copies of this exact same dress because you know, it gets dirty. But this girl is beyond happy. Wears this dress to bed, to school, all the time. And it only costs him what? 20 bucks a dress to make her infinitely happy? And it made her life that much better? You can't argue with that. So if playing video games or going to the movies with friends makes you happy, then do it, right? Life doesn't always have to be work, work, work. You'll notice that when you're happy, a lot of different aspects of your life get infinitely better. So if spending a couple bucks makes your life that much better, do it. Just make sure it fits in the budget, but do it. Another great tip to mention is that if you can't afford it twice, don't buy it. So this is more towards luxurious goods. So let's say like a fancy purse or a wristwatch or a car, right? So let's say it costs 10 grand to buy this watch. So you need to save $20,000 by fulfilling this slogan. So First of all, it helps you deal with delayed gratification. We're impulsive by nature. It is what it is. So instead of just instantly buying it the second you have the money, you take a step back and you think about the process. Do I really need this watch? Was I just caught up in the moment? Could I spend this money on something else that's you know more worth it down the line? And then hopefully by the time you can afford it twice, you will have determined whether or not you actually need to purchase this thing. And if you don't, spend it on something else that's better worth your time and better worth your money. Another big one is the fact that you can actually pay off your mortgage quicker than you think. So in America, the most common mortgage is a fixed rate 30 year mortgage. And it's justly assumed that it will take you 30 years. But that's not always the case. Depending on your lender, you can actually start paying off your mortgage significantly quicker. So make sure that there are no prepayment penalties, but you can start doing additional payments larger monthly payments or even lump sums, but make sure that this money is going towards the principal. Your normal money that you owe per month is going towards the principal and the interest. However, these additional payments should be going directly towards the principal. This will dramatically decrease the cost of your loan and dramatically decrease the length of your loan. Another one that I want to share with you is the fact that you don't have to be wealthy to invest. Now more than ever, people have access to investing thanks to technology and apps. So whenever you want, you can invest as much or as little as you want. You still have your traditional 401k through work, but on your own, you can do Roth IRAs, you know, IRAs, high yield savings accounts, CDs, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and a whole lot more. Whatever you invest in can be based off of your risk tolerance, budget, and future goals. So please do the research. And if they align with all three, then do it. But also just make sure that you know that in most investing situations, you will not have access to these funds for a considerable amount of time. Cost of living is another big one. So when you eventually decide to pursue a job and subsequently where to live, this needs to be considered. Let's say hypothetically you are choosing between two jobs and everything is exactly the same besides two things. Job A pays more, but expects you in the office full time while job B pays less, but it's fully remote. Now from a purely numbers standpoint, job A sounds more appealing. 
but that's not taking into consideration all of the other costs you now have to pay. So that could be the cost of gas to get to the train station, or the cost of the monthly train ticket or subway card, paying for dry cleaning, the occasional taxi, going out to lunch with your coworkers, higher rent because you live in the city or are close by, plus tons of other things. So at the end of the day, you may be making less money overall with job B, but it actually might average out to be the same with job A due to all of the expenses. And this is also not taking into account all the freedom and time saved with job B. So while salary is very important, it's not everything. Another big one is that looking rich actually makes you poor. So unfortunately, there are some individuals out there that believe that not being successful by itself is enough, that you have to look successful to really be successful. Now, what does that mean? That means luxurious items. So a BMW, a Mercedes, a Rolex on your wrist, a Hermes bag in your hand, you know, having Gucci glasses or Gucci flip-flops or just stuff with a really expensive name on it. So people know that, hey, that person has a lot of money to spend, which means that they probably make a lot of money, which means they're probably successful. These people look like they're winning and that they're successful, but in reality, they're hemorrhaging money and taking on probably tons of debt to sustain this fake life that they're living. One of the sayings that helped me significantly when I was younger is that people think about you less than you think they do. So perfect example is let's say you're walking down the hallway in high school and oh no, everybody's staring at me. Everybody's looking, everybody's thinking about me. Is it my clothing? Is it my face? What did I do? Blah, blah, blah. And in reality, probably no one's thinking about you and not in a bad way. No one's saying anything bad. They just have other things to think about. Maybe they're talking with their friend. Maybe they're studying for exam. Maybe they're worrying about something else after school. And the same thing applies for real life. When you go walking down the sidewalk or driving in your fancy car, yeah, people will look and they'll be like, cool and they'll get on with their life. So you're dropping hundreds of thousands of dollars going into debt for a cool. Is it really worth it? Because success should be what you define it as, not what society defines it as. So if success for you is, hey, I get to support my four kids, you know, I don't have to take on debt and I get to travel the world with my beautiful wife, then congrats, you've made it, right? It doesn't have to be the fancy brands and stuff. So focus on yourself and it'll save you the time and effort and it'll save you your checkbook as well. Hopefully you learned something from this video and if there's any other tips or tricks you may know, put them in the comments down below. And with that, I'm Evan and thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then click on the video here. Also, if you haven't, like, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos.